Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn About Flow. In this video, we'll be discussing about the algorithm design paradigms. These are the techniques for design of an algorithm. So first, let's see what is this algorithm design paradigm. General approach to the construction of efficient solution to problems are basically known as the algorithm design paradigms or algorithm paradigms. Here we have focused on the general approach for this solution for finding or construction these solutions. So why are we basically interested in knowing all this? The basic reason comes is that they provide as a template suited to solving a broad range of diverse problems. Also, they can be translated into common control and data structures provided by most high level programming languages. Looking into the broad approaches to algorithm design, this can be divided into four broad approaches. So first one is divide and conquer. Second one is dynamic programming. Third one comes greedy method. And the fourth one is backtracking. We will discuss all of this one by one in this video. Though in much of a short way, not in too much of details, but we will talk of all of this. Although more than one technique may be applicable to a specific problem. It is often the case that algorithm construction by one approach is clearly superior to equivalent solutions built on alternative techniques. So yes, we can approach a particular problem in more than one techniques, but at times we find in a particular approach we have a superior uh, effects or superior way we figure out while we approach in a particular way than the other ways available. First, let us discuss about the divide and conquer approach. In this divide and conquer, we can say this in three ways, uh, in three steps rather. The first step we can say is divide, the second one is conquer, and the third one is combine. So what the steps mean? The first one is dividing the problems into some sub problems. Suppose we have a bigger problem, we divide that into smaller problems, making that easier for us to understand or easier for us to handle the bigger problem. The next one is conquer. So in conquer, what we do, we call recursively those sub problems and do it until we actually solve those sub problems. We recursively go on finding the solution of those sub problems and ultimately we conquer the sub problems by finding the solution. The third is combine. So what we do here is we take the solutions of that sub problem and combine them to find the solution of our main problem. As an example, you can think of binary search, merge sort, quick sort, where we use uh, divide and conquer. The next one is dynamic programming. In dynamic programming, we you just optimize over plain recursive approach. We take the plain recursive approach and optimize it in terms of space or time and make it a more faster method through dynamic approach, dynamic programming. So let's take have a look at one of the recursive approach programming. Here we are trying to find out the Fibonacci series, Fibonacci number, and uh, in that we are finding it out with the help of a recursive function. So you can say. Uh, we, we are actually doing a uh, return of fib n minus 1 with the addition of fib n minus 2. So fib is the name of our function. 
so we are calling the function two times uh, within a same function so thus ultimately making it uh, a more complex function but we can do the same thing in a dynamic approach how look we can take an array named f and say we can say that f of at element 0 is 0 and f at element 1 is 1 and then run a for loop from 2 till n ultimately figuring out for f of 2 we get f of 1 plus f of 0 so we got the value and suppose we are just finding out f of 100 then we already know f of 99 and f of 98 so we just take those value and sum it and ultimately return the f of n the requ required value that we need to return so in this approach you can see it's going on a linear fashion but here you can see is going on an exponential fashion that is in the recursion is moving in exponential fashion but in dynamic programming this is moving in a linear fashion and thus the complexity reduces many folds even it requires much less space in our memory the third one is greedy algorithm so in greedy algorithm we build up a solution piece by piece always choosing the next piece that offers the most obvious and immediate benefit so we always make a choice that seems to be best at that moment and in this case the problem where choosing locally optimal also leads to global solution are the best fit for this greedy method as an example you can think of fractional knapsack problem where we use a greedy method to solve it the last one is backtracking so backtracking is best defined by wikipedia itself it says backtracking can be defined as a general algorithm technique that considers searching every possible combination in which order to solve the computational problem now what you do in backtracking think of a sudoku puzzle you put a number you, you place a number at a place and uh, went on solving two three steps and suddenly you find you cannot uh, you don't have any other ways left so you move back a step uh, you move a step back find a uh, change the last number you entered and this way you just go on experimenting and finding out a solution for a sudoku puzzle but here we are doing the same thing backtracking is actually moving a step forward figuring out whether we can uh, figure out all the possible computational combinations and ultimately in, in case we don't find a way out we move back a step and find other possible ways to move forward that's backtracking so that's all for this video thank you everyone for watching this in case you have any questions or doubts make sure you put them in the comment section i'll be answering you all there also don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and maybe whoever in one should see this and also subscribe to my channel thank you everyone